So hi, welcome to the Noise Podcast. I'm Shane. I'm Glory. And we're here with Graham Steele. Aiden Memory. And I'm Sam Morton. And we're Sad Park. I asked him some questions to say about their upcoming album, No More Sounds. So congrats on that, by the way. How do you feel about the response to the announcement so far? It feels great. A lot of people are really liking it. And it's uh how do you how do you not love that? It's great. Hell yeah, the album is great. You got that shit right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh, so, is there any meaning behind the album title or cover art? Uh ooh, no. There's no meaning behind the cover <laughs> art. The the well, the cover yeah. art. We had a different album cover before, like right before, and then we kind of weren't really sure about it. And then one day, through the wonders of social media, I was scrolling through and just found this this European artist who's called at inept alien and he popped up and I was like, this is fucking amazing. And so I hit him up and his thing, like his bio says like all commissions are closed. Like, no, like I'm not taking anything, but mm-hmm. we hit him up anyways. And he was like, yeah, you guys can scroll through my stuff and, and buy something if you want. We were like, yes, I was so that excited. Was Cause I, I love, him. yeah. And that was, that was the one. I loved that one. All right. I thought it, uh, I thought it fit because it, it, you know it's it's kind of silly but really dark and has this theme of this shadow character looming over you is interesting. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. fit for sure. It, <laughs> it fit the the vibe. Absolutely. And is there any meaning behind the album title? Uh, ooh, I don't. Sam, it just <laughs> honestly it was just it was a lyric, um, and all the lyrics for the album got written kind of right in the studio as it was going on um and it was just one of the lyrics that came up for the um the first and last song on the album have uh, a connection and it was just a lyric that came up and um ended up i think fitting some of the themes on the album but yeah it just kind of came up in the moment in the studio as it was all unfolding makes sense all right um so can you tell us a little bit about your writing process for this album uh, the writing process was we had already demoed a, a decent amount of this album. Um, we already had a lot of it done. And then we were on a U.S. tour and we reached out to Sean Bennett, the lead singer of AJJ, and asked him if he would be interested in in producing the album. And he was super down and actually really excited he got back to us in like no time at all and he, so we were all hyped. immediately yeah. yeah and and we're all huge fans of ajj and we finished that u.s tour and we scheduled something and he drove from arizona to to my place in northridge california and was just like all right let's do this and in four days we started working through stuff we went on another u.s tour and then when we came back we we recorded the whole album in 10 days. So he was so excited. He drove to you. Yeah. yeah. He, <laughs> pretty pretty much. <laughs> Sean, we reached out to him and cause I, I hit up our manager. I was like, Hey, you think we could get Sean? And he was like, I don't know. Let's see. And like in f- like 40 minutes, we got an email back and Sean was like, this is awesome. I love the demos. Let's do this. Let's hop on a zoom call. <laughs> oh my God. He is the sweetest human being in the entire world. And then, yeah, he wasn't like, you guys come to me. He was just like, all right, I'm 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 coming to you guys. I'm on the way. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) He's like, I'm coming all the And he hung out with us for four days and hung out in the neighborhood. And we all had the local food and everything and just became best buds. It was great. Hell yeah. Yeah, We had had a lot of songs written. I think we ended up with like 18 or 19 or something like that. And we were just, we just went through everything with him and, chopped things up, cut things out, added stuff, and ran it up with songs we felt good about. And then we had a little space before we recorded, so we kind of worked on it a little more, but then just took them in and 10 days straight and a few dubs after, and it was done, just like that. Nice. Yeah. And you mentioned all of the lyrics were written, like, in the studio as things were being recorded. Is that typically how you guys do something? Was it unique to this? Was there any sort of added pressure? Oh. Lots of questions. It's even, it's usually even worse than that. Oh, I I don't write lyrics. I don't write lyrics ever. So usually, so like I will 
for the last album, I was a little better. So I wrote all the lyrics right before I went into the vocal booth. And the album before that, I just wrote no lyrics and was just just riffing. I just, kinda had, <laughs> I just had things that were like memorized that I just kind of kept saying, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but this album, which I loved it, we recorded all the music for the album. And so all the music was finished. And then me and Sean would just go outside to the patio while the rest of the band was doing whatever and working on whatever little extra stuff and we would sit down and be like oh you know like this this song kind of feels like this or it kind of feels like that and I'm kind of getting like this feeling of nostalgia and like holding on to something and wanting something and so you know we write lyrics like carousel or new slow and things like that so it it, it was kind of perfect to write everything in that moment because without even trying it's a little bit of a concept album ish mm -hmm. just because everything's in the same world being written because all the lyrics were written in three days and recorded in three days oh, yeah. Yeah. Lord. <laughs> My God. Well, it was, i mean i think that makes it cool too because then you're writing to the actual like sonic of that record that you're making and not to like how you rehearse it or like the demos you have or whatever it's like the feeling you're talking about like getting is like happening from like the real thing that's happening in front of you so it's cool yeah, yeah, that, yeah. so i guess it feels like kind Quick, of more but... authentic mm -hmm. eh? yeah yeah it's a, it's a cool it was a cool approach sure. it's yeah. it's definitely an interesting approach because obviously heard of bands you know <laughs> going in you know with some things written and like figuring out as they go or you know editing off the cuff but to just be like yeah you know what fuck it we'll see what happens it's just like yeah wild to me. <laughs> I, we, you know me and sean were supposed to hop on a lot of zoom calls and then we just kept not doing it and then we got there and we were like i guess we'll write them i guess we'll write them here <laughs> fair enough okay so okay Okay, so it wasn't it wasn't like procrastination or anything. It was just like fuck. Okay, we didn't get the chance. I guess we're just gonna do it now. It was, you know, it was a little bit of procrastination. I feel like there were probably times where I was like, I'm playing video games. I don't want to sit. <laughs> no, that's completely fair. Writing that's lyrics completely... right now. Yeah, we just we uh, we like a challenge when yeah. writing. Fair enough. <laughs> gotcha. uh, so, what song off this album took longest to write, and which one is each of your own personal favorite? Um... I ooh, I think the longest to write might be the last track, No More Sound, right? Because that, well, that song... The longest to write? The longest to write. Because mm -hmm. that longest song we had for... I had different versions of that song for like a, oh, year, yeah. a year and a half. Yeah. Uh, I, I had already had that song written when we did our last album, It's All Over. And we just couldn't ever decide on a version of the song we liked because it was like went four through, versions. Like, it was yeah, like... <laughs> it went through like a poppy version. It went through like this yeah. surf version. It went through one where we're like, we'll throw like a crazy solo in there, and then eventually we we landed on doing just this really slow, sludgy version that also ties into the first track on the album, mm -hmm. uh, "No More Songs." That I mean, so that that's like that was like a year, a year and a half of fucking yeah figuring out what we wanted. You did catch us in the middle here, so we're going over favorites off the record. So mm -hmm. that's where we're at right now. Yeah, what's your favorite song off the record, Grant Bubar? Um, I like uh, "Watch the World Fall Down," and I like "The Art Will Be Gone," and I like "Always Around." Nice. Hell yeah! Off the cuff, damn. God, he's so well prepared at all times, always. <laughs> we I think know my, he's coming. <laughs> my favorite off of the album has to be the new slow. I I think that song is just like it's so different too from everything else we've ever done because our like oh, yeah. our instinct when we get like really soft and slow is to always be like, okay, like I'm not sure about this. We should like make it really crazy at the end and sean and danny uh nagiris from balboa records he also helped out on the album and co-produced a lot of the songs as well he uh they both were like no like we're not gonna do that we're not gonna get it to where like everyone's expecting you guys to get loud it's just we're just gonna keep it chill we're gonna keep it soft the whole time it's just gonna stay right there and you're gonna say what you have to say and i i love that song so much hell yeah yeah Sam, Aiden. Yeah. Uh, I definitely, I love 
Carousel, the song that just came out. I love that song. Probably Money in the Bag, too. I And I would say No More Sounds uh-huh. for the last song. But those those ones for me are got to be the favorites. It's hard to pick, honestly. I like I like them all. Mm-hmm. What about you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going with Carousel, dude. That is my favorite yeah. fucking song. I love that song so much. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like I feel like we like pulled that song out of like the trash or like fire. Like we we were like we're not doing it. Like we're not yeah. recording it. Like it's not going on the album. And then like Sean was just like fucking what was that one song? Like I really liked it. And we just kind of like no. Like I mean, if he hadn't said anything, we probably wouldn't have put it on the record. And we like got yeah. a chance to like rework it a little bit at the studio. And I don't know, it came out fucking really cool. I'll say a uh, honorable mention parking lot is also a fucking banger off of this album. Love that song. Hell yeah. All right. I I do like it is pretty cool that like I mean none of us with the exception of maybe carousel like most of us don't have like the same favorite songs. Uh which is pretty cool. And it's definitely something that I'm kind of proud of for this album where it's like we're just oh, we're yeah. just not in sync. <laughs> or, yeah, or we just don't have anything in common. <laughs> just four dudes in a band, absolutely nothing yeah. in common. No one gets it's a off. wonder anything gets and done. Honestly, I'll say it. I hate music, dude. I can't stand it. <laughs> okay, so I'm glad we're actually bringing this up now because I also hate music. I don't know how I got it. I don't know what I'm doing here, you guys. Yeah, yeah this music industry <laughs> shit really just rubs you the wrong way, you know? It drags mm-hmm. you down. Yeah. <laughs> um, so how'd the track list for the album come about? Did you guys write the opener with the opener, close the big closer, just shuffle around and see what fits? What was that process like? I think we wrote Lots the... I, well, I, if I'm not mistaken, you guys can correct me. I think we wrote... Um, like, we wrote the closer. We knew that was going to be the end of the album. And then obviously from there, we, we were like, we can just kind of write a softer version of the ending of the album and and make that the uh you know make the that like intro track. track yeah have yeah. it all tie in and then i'm blanking on the the middle track anthem of our own album right now we, uh, we can't put, fight it. i can't fight it yeah. that song always felt like as much as it could have been the closer of the album it always did feel like we had something more in us to keep writing so even once we wrote that I feel like I kind of knew I didn't want that to be the ending. I I knew I still wanted that to be in the middle of the entire album. Yeah. yeah. I remember us having like those, those like kind of tentpole things of like beginning and end of side A, we had that. And then it was like a couple weeks of like us listening to the tracks and being like, Ooh, this would be good here. And we kept yeah. pitching like different things, like always around which is the second song on the album, the first like big real song was like the beginning of side B for like a really long time. Um, and then we switched it and then like art will be gone was going to be the beginning of side B. And then like dark ho- horse, uh, you know, the new slow came in and, and made it yeah. there. And it was like, uh, yeah. So that was a really fun process though. Because every day it was like Aiden was like, I have a great idea for a track. <laughs> and like, it was guys, just some, like, I figured it out. I figured it out. <laughs> like, we got to put all the fast songs in the beginning and all the slow songs at the end. It's just like, we, you know, just crazy kind of things to figure it out. And then we, we figured out this one, which is the best one, obviously, because it's the final, <laughs> the final track. I would, ho- I would hope you guys are somewhat happy with yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but I, whether or not it was intentional, the opener and the closer are great bookends for this album. Like, mm-hmm. and I also like how they're, they're, the naming is somewhat similar, obviously not mm-hmm. the same, but I, I, it all just really packages it well together. And I wanted to make a note of that while we were chatting. Hey, we're yeah. the, we're the best band ever. I don't you know. you are yeah. honestly <laughs> <laughs> new, uh, hot new band. <laughs> Best man in the world. What can I say? Pretty here for. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm more modest. I would say like second or third best band in the world. Nope. You know what I mean? Nope. <laughs> nope. Just super modest. Second best in the whole wide world. You know. Maybe second. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, would you guys be able to tell us where Headspace is at while you're creating this record? Whoa. 
Uh, tired, really tired. Going on tour a bunch. Uh, got out of the pandemic. Immediately started getting thrown into <clears throat> doing U.S. tours and uh, just from there coming home writing going on another tour coming home writing uh i don't know this this album i i've said it before but it, it feels like this album was the first time where we didn't i didn't at least me as like a writer i didn't feel a need to have to like prove anything to anyone about like my musical skill or anything like that <clears throat> i felt like a lot of our last album it's I I love that album, but there are times where, for me, I can see things where I'm like, okay, I wasn't trying to just make like a, a solid song. I was trying to prove to people that I'm like a good songwriter or that I'm 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 a good musician at playing my instrument. And this album, it felt like the first time that we were all super comfortable and confident in what we do and what we play and we just put out an album of 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 just solid music that we all love to play you know that's me yeah okay so <laughs> yeah removing that pressure definitely made like the writing process for you easier uh, absolutely and you know i i i'm lucky enough that you know, when I bring songs to the table for everybody, I get to present it to three like extremely fucking talented musicians. So it's it's not that it's pretty easy. It's pretty yeah. fucking easy. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, I think for all of us, it was really like learning that like simpler is better a lot of the time, and like really just like focusing on serving. So we've been saying this a lot, but literally like serving the song is like always what we talk about. And that was definitely the focus on these songs versus possibly what's been done in the past. Okay. And Graham, how was it kind of this record that like you kind of decided where like you don't have to like prove to people that you're a capable music like the outside world that you're a capable musician? I think it was just like I said, like it is just touring and everything and being more comfortable and confident in what we do and uh i don't know being on the road and and playing music is a wonderful and very very humbling thing so uh after coming out of that and doing that a lot it uh i don't know you just don't you don't worry as much or i don't i didn't worry as much afterwards about like what are what are people gonna think about this music i just kind of now I just put it out. I don't know. I, I don't sense. worry so much about other people and what they think. I feel like as long as I'm and we're creating something, there will be someone, whether it be one, two, three, or a hundred people that are like, oh, this really means something to me and this speaks to me. And that's all I really care about is those couple of people that really enjoy it. That makes sense. Okay. And that, with that topic, are you the type of person to kind of read the comments and kind of see the negative stuff or do you just kind of ignore that? Uh, no, I mean, yeah, no, I, I'll, I'll watch our like YouTube videos and stuff, but I feel like we're pretty lucky and people also understand that we're a pretty new band that I've never actually seen anyone be like, these guys fucking suck. <laughs> I, I, we will I be, we never, will be the first like, podcast. Don't like worry. We can never, humble the shit out of you. I have never <laughs> ever watched like our videos of us playing a show or doing jam in the van and people are just like, these dudes gotta pull their fucking shit together. <laughs> yeah. I I will say I certainly am like that type of person where I'll like stop and be like, yo, what are people saying? And 99% of the time, very sweet, very cool. A lot of interesting bands, like Pure Noise will post like a new song and be like, this band reminds me of like The Strokes plus blank. And I'm like, okay, I guess we sound like that. Uh, but my favorite comment on Always Around in the music video, I think, it was just like one comment with like five downvotes. And it was just, nah. <laughs> the comment, they were just like, nah. I was, was about it. to bring that up, dude. I thought that was so funny. I've never seen that. <laughs> I, you know, that hurts. It was so funny. <laughs> it was like, you don't like it, but you don't even not like it enough to, like, explain why. <laughs> no, <laughs> just, just like, he's just uh, like, yeah, this just ain't disregard it. Disregard this. Yeah. Yeah. 
This yeah, ain't exactly. it. This ain't <laughs> it at all. That's hilarious. Um, so how do you guys recommend your fans to listen to this album for the first time? Should they play in the car with friends and dark with headphones on and work out album, yeah. party album? Yeah. Um, uh, put a, put, uh, turn all the lights off in your room, put a pillow over your face. Then at <laughs> the moment it turns to side B, someone needs to come into your room and splash you with a bucket of water and then yeah. you know, make sure the headphones stay on and just keep listening through all the chaos that's happening around you. The suffocation and the yeah, no okay. breathing. Yes. Don't give no a breathing. fuck if I cut my arm. Yeah, okay. you yeah. get a little lightheaded. <laughs> yeah, 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 you experience yeah. albums better actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> I don't know, uh, listen to it in like a, a burning room. So once the album's done, it's... okay. So again with the suffocation, I'm noticing yes. a, a speed. Yeah. You can you stop uh, reading me right now? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyone else, Aiden? I feel like you'd have a pretty good idea of how to listen. Uh, to yeah, I, I just think I just think you know, listen to it with headphones. Don't uh-huh. start a fire or drown yourself. Oh, <laughs> no fun here over comes, there. Here comes yeah. in with the logic. I, yeah, dude, I can uh, um, I can give like a legit serious answer though. Okay, that would be appreciated. That'd be good. I <laughs> think that. Not? Oh yeah, mine is ridiculous. That was <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I think honestly, something that I'm super proud of with this album is like it has those two bookends on either side that kind of like tie it all together, but it's also just like a collection of really good songs. So like, I think no matter how you listen to it, you'll get something different out of it. If you're listening to it in a car with friends on shuffle, uh, which I have done, certainly uh, you're kind of like, Oh yeah, this song is tight. Oh, I like this one. Maybe I don't like this one. It's, it's different. If you listen to it all the way through with headphones at night where maybe you have a little bit of a weed edible or something, if that's legal in whatever state or country you're in, uh, uh like weed edible yeah you know then like you get a completely different uh you know vibe from it and i think that's really cool that you can kind of experience it any way and it's just as effective but like in different ways yeah it's the perfect album it's pretty tell good me, tell me any other album you could put on shuffle there's not a single other yeah album. name one album that you can put on shuffle and is as good as if you listen to there's it straight through no album that you can put on shuffle perfect album from the best bands ever yeah <laughs> <We're gonna laughs> i like the I, I like the sound of that yeah that's a good headline that's, that's yeah that's a good that yeah that that, that like, should be the press like quote this. for the for album mm-hmm. release day just yeah. perfect band from number one or perfect album from number one band there you go there i'm go. writing yeah. that down <laughs> no, <it's good>. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's all in quotations it's like perfect album from number one <laughs> don't do that shit <laughs> If we if we tell enough people, they'll start to believe it. Yeah, exactly. If you, tell two yeah. Friends, you know, if you tell two friends and they tell two friends, we're unstoppable. We're gonna take over the goddamn world. There you, you have go. A point. It's just yeah. a big domino effect, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get that shit. Okay, I wrote down perfect album from number one band. Awesome. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> I do hope to see that on the press release on album um, release day. <laughs> yes. Done. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. Uh, so this one should be super, super quick off the top of your heads. I want you guys to describe this album for new listeners in three words. Three words each, no more, no less. No more sound. <laughs> no more will take the album we title. We can't count that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> okay. Um, I'm so tired would be my three words. <laughs> That's it. I'm out. Those are mine. Those we'll are my it. three we'll words. We'll take it. We'll take it. Um, Grant, I, we are counting on you for a real answer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, after, Aiden, after Aiden didn't give that real answer, we need you to <laughs> come in hot here. Grant. I mean, on, honestly, like thematically, like mm-hmm. you could say, like, like moments and time. That's and good. Oh, that's good. That's what good. I think good. you can boil it down to. You did. That was okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I had to think. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sad. Fast, dope. Nice. Sad, yeah. fast, dope. There, fast, dope. there we go. Yeah, That's sad, fast, one. and heroin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that not? Was that not what you were saying? <laughs> oh fuck! Come on, Grant. We're counting on you to bring it all home, dude. I. It's so much pressure. We put even more pressure I, on. Like, it. I. Say it's all I, over. You know what? It's just good. That's it. Those are my three words. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. 
Take yeah. that, Aiden. It's good. How's that feel? <laughs> That's a real bad. answer. <laughs> bad. <laughs> crazy. Um, so in that same train of thought, is there a certain feeling or emotion you want listeners to have while going through the album? I want to hear Aiden's answer, and then I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> trap. Trap. Yes. trap. This isn't cool, man. <laughs> I just want to know. I want to know, like, what I, what I can go a off. Certain of. emotion. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I think. I think. I think some sort of like longing or like nostalgia. I feel like is like a pretty like common theme throughout the record. I think that's something like you and Sean have definitely talked about a lot in terms of like lyrics and like I don't know. I feel like I feel like that's like what I get when I like listen to it all the way through. Yeah, mm-hmm. I I want I don't know hope I guess I just want someone to hear this I, album and and feel like comfortable and and uh, heard and understood and related to so that'd probably be mine relatable that's an emotion right yeah mm-hmm. I actually have a good one for this I feel like it is like appreciative like it's like oh. you listen to the songs and you're like wow like in in that nostalgic sense like oh like you start being appreciative of like those moments in your life that are either still happening or used to happen or whatever um that's kind of the feeling i get the most when i listen to this album it's like oh yeah things are good it'll be okay you know, of, you know that's a real answer Graham. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm only, I'm sorry. Only... Yeah, my bad. My bad. Yeah, fuck, fuck anyone that I hope relates to this album. Apparently. <laughs> Sam, anything Sam, to add? Sam, bring it home. Home run. Here we go, baby. This is you. Home run, baby. You. Home run, baby. No, I mean, it, honest, honestly, it's, it's similar to what you said, Graham. But like, you said hopeful. But like, um, I feel like that is like a common theme across a lot of our music. Is that it does have a an undertone of like everything like will be okay but i think going into this album is like i think it's open like towards a lot of emotions honestly but in just you know that that overall feeling of like whatever like you're going through like it's going to be okay and i think the album does a good job of making you feel like that amazing oh yeah yeah Uh, especially those bass lines very hopeful you know Oh, oh yes. It's Hopeful. Clean mm-hmm. Love that shit. Uh, so, are you guys able to talk about any particularly challenging or standout moments from the creation of this album, positive or negative? Well, um, uh, writing lyrics for the entire album in three days is my challenging <laughs> part of Honestly, writing the album. That and and my Ooh. voice fucking like going out at the end. Huh? That's true. Yeah, I, I was like, right at my the voice. End. Yeah, you don't worry about it. I'm not gonna <laughs> ruin. I'm I'm not gonna ruin the illusion. <laughs> we we kind of talked about it earlier, but that the song "The New Slow" really did get completely redone, pretty much on the spot yeah. in the studio. Yeah. Like we we were all in there, and because we, we when we would start recording, it would be live. Um, and so we'd all be playing together and we from like us in the live room and Danny and Sean in the control room and going back and forth we pretty much redid the whole song that had like this big ending and like changed the form of it and that was all to me like oh shit like we are just we're doing it right now (laughs) we're just starting over we also had death which is a song that literally we went into the studio and we just sat there with like an acoustic guitar with Danny and Sean mm-hmm. and straight up from start to finish just wrote the song. Like right there we wrote it and then we went in and then we ran it. Mm-hmm. And then we were like, okay, we this did... is a great order. No, didn't we like, wasn't death like something that we were <laughs> messing with when we, we had those couple weeks after it was, that tour? It was, it, we, was, like... it was the last thing we wrote before we went in to record. It was like, it was like a quick thing we had done. We were like, ah, oh, like we'll, we'll figure it out. And then we, yeah, yeah. and then we never figured yeah. it, it out like until we were, yeah. until we were in the studio. And then we just sat there with an acoustic guitar and like got it, went into the studio, recorded drums and bass for it. And then that's like the song that you have. That's fucking wild. Um, yeah. You mentioned, <laughs> you know, the whole, lyrics in three days and like that is kind of how you work but is it ever going to be that intense like do you or are you going to kind of make an effort 
you know, for when we're talking future albums. <laughs> oh, <No. laughs> what? Are you fucking kidding me? You're just going to wing it? I mean, you know, maybe once, maybe day one of being in the studio, I'll start working on the lyrics, but uh, I don't have time I mean, to think about there's that There's always stuff. like, there's like a frame to it kind of just from yeah. like us jamming yeah. it, but mm-hmm. I know nothing's in, in stone or finished, but there's, yeah. there's always, there's always a bit going in. Okay. All right. Um, so for this question, I want you to picture you're on tour, your gas station for a rest stop. What is your snack of choice? Uh, Grant, Grant oh. is always searching <laughs> for the Haribo fucking bear. Haribo babies, dude. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's I, uh, so hard to find. It's mm-hmm. only in like really like random, not brand name <laughs> gas stations or truck stops. And it's always like a super dusty pack that they probably got shipped in like 2008 <laughs> that no one bought. Oh. And it makes me so happy every single time. Do you have a favorite flavor? Uh, of the Haribo berries? It's just the... I like the blackberries more than the raspberries. There but I go. also feel like it's just sugar flavored. Like, I don't know if I could really tell a difference. No, they've, they've the got to be different flavors. They're different colors. So they, they have, have to be. Colors, right? Yeah. <laughs> like the fucking Fruit yeah. Loops. Uh, right? I'm, I'm really into a... Uh, I'm really in... Oh, what is it? It's pomegranate, I think. A pomegranate vitamin water. Ooh. And uh, and uh, I'm, I'm big on a, like a beef jerky. I, I'm, I'm down with a beef jerky. Yeah, I'm right. I'm always I, looking for the, for the cheese tornadoes. <laughs> I knew I was waiting for you to say that <laughs> dude the little like things that are just like just spinning yeah dude I, I fuck with those so hard <laughs> alright I am it's a classic move I'm I'm all about the goldfish I could mm-hmm. snack on those Ooh. all day nice. yeah, yeah. All right. if if our uh, if our merch person Hale was here they would say like a red like three Red Bulls and a monster <laughs> yeah I wake uh, up I drink four Red crazy. Bulls <laughs> yeah Hale's, Hale's about that fucking energy drink grind baby I <laughs> yeah I I think the only other thing is like I certainly love doing this like I just find really random novel food items oh, yeah. wherever we go. So that's kind of like not like one snack, but it's always like, is there some weird flavor of Coke that's only, you know, that's in true. the South or whatever? Yeah. No, hold on. But if we have time, it's Grant being like, oh, man, look at this awful flavored thing, but I got to buy it. Buys it and then takes one sip and then will at some point in the van, like, look at me and Aiden and be like, here, try it. And then the moment we're holding it, he's like, you can have it. <laughs> and then, he just, he just pushes it on us. He yeah, he just hands it, it to us. Like, and then he's like, like, it. Only, he's like, oh, it's your guys. And then we're like, stop it. Only, it. It. <laughs> only when it's bad. Like, when it's good, I kill it, you know? And you you've never, never good, gotten not a share. Exactly. You've never gotten a good novelty thing ever, Grant. <laughs> Every single Hold time, on. Grant's what? like, man, no, 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 this really didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. No, that like that mango coke was pretty good. That one was pretty tasty. That Wrong. sounds baller. Wrong. It's not a good right, sign so, that so I had you're, to you're for one like for like two hundred. That's pretty dumb. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so on the topic of food, if the band was a dish, what dish would the band be, and why? The whole band. The band together, yeah. Oh, because I asked oh. the guys. I asked the guys this recently about oh, who they would all individually be. Yeah. Oh shit! What are we? I'm gonna say, and it's a random one, but I'm gonna say that we're ramen. Okay. I was gonna say that too. Yeah, gonna... Oh my god! Look at that. <laughs> On the same oh, wow. wavelength. And Aiden's gonna say that we're chicken Alfredo. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Noodles? That's all me, dude. That's yeah. <laughs> Aiden, what do you think we are? I mean, I was gonna Give say, some real like, answer. I was, I was gonna say like sushi. <laughs> yeah, okay. sure. Right. Oh, yeah. I was close. I was. <laughs> yeah, hey guys, that's but a real the answer. Right answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, ramen. So for the last couple questions, we're gonna shift completely away from music and go straight to death row. Boom. So if you're on death row, what would your last meal be with a drink? There's two ways to think about it, right? Because you either order, like, a really tasty meal that you'll enjoy or, like, a meal that's going to take you forever to fucking eat mm. so you never have yeah. to... Yeah. Have novelty to bite snacks. The bullet, you know? 
Yeah, I want like a hundred nail files so I can start going away. 55 at the... cheeseburgers, 55 fries, 55 <laughs> yeah. pizza. Um, <laughs> there you go. I, it probably, as much as I want like a home cooked thing, if I know I'm never gonna like eat it again and I'm gonna die, it might be like an In N Out burger or it might be like a like a Big Mac. Like the last thing I want is kind of like a nostalgic thing that I grew up eating. I'm going in and out a hundred percent, dude. Yeah, right? right. Yeah. And how are you guys gonna wash your in and out down? Oh well I'm just gonna get the I'm gonna get a lemon up from In N Out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Aiden, what about you? Dude, I don't know. I, I think I'm. I think I'm just doing water, dude. I just I I, I ride hard for water. <laughs> I want to be healthy. I want to be healthy for my last. Don't want to clog your arteries on the last one. I don't want to be like gross when I die. Yeah. Yeah. Can't drink too much sugar. You might get diabetes three minutes before you die. You know. That's true. That's true. What is it? I think I just want the coldest water possible. That's The coldest water possible. I would have to go. I'd go classy. I think I'd want to go like. At least like a cocktail. Like I would want to have like a like an old fashioned or something if I'm going out oh. like that. And then, oh, what's your deal? Maybe it, honestly, like a like a chicken parm or something. Grandma, no. you're such a hater. You're going like Goodfellas style. Dude. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I would want to like if I'm going out on death row, dude. Like, Stop. Yeah, Sam, that's a good point. Nice. That's a good. Sam, I appreciate the real answer. Grant, what's we'll <laughs> Uh Yeah, guys, get ready for just a su- another super real answer. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I would probably like everyone's gonna laugh at this because it's the most me thing ever. I would get like a like a carne asada burrito from like you know a, a taco stand on the street, uh, and then I would probably wash it down with like like a tall no. boy or something. You a know? tall boy. I, I think, Damn. Yeah. Well, because here's the thing: it's like it's my. I'm gonna do a glass coat. Wanted- I want it to be representative of my life and not some crazy thing that I don't really do. Cause I feel like it would be more comforting being like, yeah, this is like a really tasty meal that I would regularly enjoy with like friends and make me happy. So mm-hmm. I feel like just like go out as you live. You know what I mean? Why not five guys? It's your favorite burger place. <laughs> ever. Why not just do that? <laughs> it's a long story. I'm not going to get into it. I got to get it. I got to go. I got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh, you're saving. Uh, so, it. if you guys could live in one fictional world for a week, where would you live? Separate fictional worlds. I phrased that weirdly. Oh, fictional world. I got it. I would. I would probably go Star Wars. Hell if yeah. I had to go to one yeah. fictional world, that Grant, would be- don't don't you dare comment on that, Grant. If you want to live under the thumb of the Empire, Sam. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. Hey, for a week. For a week. I could be down for that. <laughs> Unless you're part of the Empire. Ooh, you're living good. In one week, probably not going to go south before you're out of there. Yeah. What's yeah, going, what is, what is, what is a grand? Way. What is a grand? I, so I was thinking like Mass Effect or Lord of the Rings, but both of those are like series where like crazy bad shit happens. So I think yeah. I'm just going to go Pokemon. And you just hang out with a bunch of Pokemon and life's yeah. good. And you just vibe out with your homies for a week and then you come home. Nice. Okay. Would you have? Would you have like post Pokemon depression? Because like I would a hundred percent have post Pokemon depression. I would like be trying oh, yeah. to get stuff from like the top shelves that Bulbasaur would help me with, and I would be like, oh no, now I, my friend's gone. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would yeah. be so sad. I I feel like I want to vibe out in a in Minecraft. I want to have like a cabin. <laughs> I want to have a cabin oh, on top a of good a good one, dude. A, a cabin on top of a snowy mountain, and I hang out, and I got my my bumblebee farm, which also pollinates your crops, just so you know. And yeah. it's it's all. I'll help you out. Don't worry about it. This and uh, I was just playing Minecraft not that long ago. So <laughs> yeah, well, and that's Minecraft. what you're gonna go do after this too. As long as while I'm living in the Minecraft world, the Minecraft music just is like playing somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay yeah saddest solid. music ever solid i'm in nice mm-hmm. what's it gonna be i think i'm go- i think i'm going to like gta or something i want to just like <laughs> <laughs> i just want to cause like havoc and- <laughs> if you, if you, if you, you chose the real world 
ever heard of. Uh, he chose the real <laughs> world awesome. where he can like shoot cops, <laughs> and then as long God. as he goes, as long as he goes uh, under a bridge, he's safe. I'm all for that, Aiden. You fucking, you get him. That's so yeah, for a week. I can do so, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Your answer is like anywhere that I can go steal cars and kill people. That's pretty much where I want to be. You're like crazy. Wait a minute. Love it. That's great. That's great. Hey, man. Um, so I've done a best and last question. <laughs> I've done a best and last question. Every single person that we've spoken to, I've said that it is the most important question. What's your favorite color? Forest green. Nice. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go like 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 a light baby blue. Nice. Hell yeah. I know all I'm your gonna answers. Go, I'm gonna go it's blue as well, but like that kind of sea sea greeny blue color. Mm-hmm. Here it comes, bring it home, Grant. What is I know, it? No, it's I know it's 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 brown. Brown's my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> like a nice mahogany, like a woody yeah, brown. You know? It's the most go. Grant Bubar answer ever. A I love it. Safe. Nice. It's safe. Um, all right. That's uh, a classy answer too, Grant. So thank uh, you, Sam. Yeah, that... I was ready to get shoot on so hard. <laughs> no, that's a good answer. Um, a... Rich, b- wood no. brown. Okay, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at mahogany brown now. That's, that's oh, okay. don't oh, look at that. Shit. That's it. A good nice. Is it? <laughs> yeah, dude. Better than forest green. Whatever. Man. That's a real go. answer. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as I said that's all the questions we have today is there anything that you guys would like to plug not the album no Grant what do you want to plug uh, we're on tour yeah July we- 7th through July when is this coming out beats me or when is <laughs> <laughs> it's a great right, question okay. <laughs> well the album will be out while we're on tour it comes out the first day of tour Albums out when we're on yeah. tour. We're on tour at the Price in July. We're on tour with AJJ in the back half of August. Um, and yeah. yeah. Um, listen to our album, No More Sound. It's amazing. It's the best album you've ever heard in your life. It's the only album that you could put on shuffle and it actually sounds good. So yeah. it's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's true. yeah. All right. Uh, well, thank you for sound. This guy's been Sad Park and we have been the Good Noise Podcast. <laughs>